Meet Casey. He's 29. Super cute. Super fun. Super horny. Um, really horny. <laughs> Apparently very horny. <clears throat> Casey. Like so many guys who do guys, Casey needs the facts and figures on f***ing. So let's get on it. BB. Huh? Barebacking. Gloveless love. Saddle-free sex. Sex in your ass without a condom. Call it what you want, but unprotected anal sex is risky business because it's high risk for transmitting HIV. And no, it doesn't matter whether you're a top or a bottom. And no, you can't guess a person's HIV status just because they want to have sex without a condom. Using condoms is the smart thing to do to protect yourself and your partner. Or partners. Especially if you don't know your or their HIV status. So Casey's ridden the wild pony and totally convinced he's one of the lucky ones. He feels perfectly fine. Then a few weeks later, he's feeling a little feverish and feels like he might have the flu. Well, it's going around, right? And then there's this rash on his body. When people become infected with HIV, the amount of virus in their bodies grows rapidly and makes it much easier to pass along. It causes up to 90% of newly infected people to experience flu-like symptoms, like fever, sore throat, headache, muscle pain, swollen lymph nodes, and possibly a rash, too. Doctors call these seroconversion symptoms, and they may appear one to four weeks after a saddle-free bromance. But when should you get tested? Right away. But know that sometimes it can take up to three months for HIV to be detectable in your blood. So if your first test is negative, you'll need to have a second test after the three-month period. Doctors call this the HIV window period. Here's the kicker. So many guys don't know about the window period, and that's when they might be most infectious. Know what else makes HIV transmission easier? STIs, like chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, or syphilis. Don't make it easy. Watch for the signs. Now back to syphilis. It's easy to get from an infected partner through unprotected oral or anal sex. It can also be transmitted through contact with sores or body fluids of a person who has it. This can include kissing or any other skin-to-skin -skin contact, including fingering, rimming, and fisting. The good news is syphilis is easily treated with antibiotics. Like other STIs, having syphilis can make HIV transmission easier, so you might as well get a blood test for it at the same time as you're getting tested for HIV. If you have HIV, syphilis can make you very sick. So back to Casey, his rash, and his flu-like symptoms. He's decided to go to a testing clinic. At the clinic, Casey's told there's rapid HIV testing. Rapid HIV testing involves collecting a drop of blood by simply pricking a person's finger and doing the test while they wait for a few minutes. If you get a reactive result, it means you're very likely HIV positive, but they still have to confirm it with a standard test. Both these tests may be offered anonymously, where they record a code and your result is filed under that code, so there's no link to your personal information. So yeah, we know that was a lot of info to absorb, but everything you need to know about HIV, STIs, and testing is just below at your fingertips. So explore, ask questions, talk to your friends, empower yourself. But if you only do one thing, get tested.